So I finally ordered ARP front wheel studs for the GTO. Um, I had been putting this off for a little while, so um, I'm gonna get that taken care of. Also, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna raise the front end up. So we're gonna try to address a little bit of the suspension issues um, where I was just squatting real bad in the rear. Pretty much what I wanna do is raise up the front about an inch. Um, I'm gonna lower the dampening on the front strut so then the weight transfer to the back would be a little bit better. And then um, I pretty much stiffened up the rear end of the car so it should be able to stay loaded the whole time at the track versus loading then unloading and loading again, um, which seriously causes a lot of traction issues with the GTO. I'll probably need alignment, but I'm not sure at what point I'll get that. So we're just gonna test it out, see, see how it feels, maybe do some test launches, and then we'll go from there. For those of you guys who don't know is, the ARP front wheel studs for the GTO are the same as the Evo, in case you can't find them. I'll put the, de the link to the description. I actually got mine off of Amazon. Um, I think they were like 35 bucks for all five. So I got two uh, for both wheels. Pretty much the whole point of me doing this is so maybe later in the future if I decide to do new wheels or whatever or want to space out the front or whatever the case is, I could also trim them down. But um, I have a much stronger wheel stud and um, it'll be, they pretty much prevent shearing and it would be good for like road racing or whatever I want to do with the car, not just drag racing. It's not specifically for drag racing. It's a little bit for everything. In all honesty, raising up the car is actually going to make it drive a lot better. I don't have to worry about slowing down as much over some of these bumps or whatever, uh, but you know, you know, I, I really liked how the car looks with how low it is. It's not completely slammed. Like it could definitely go lower than what it is now, but um, yeah. So, sad day, but we're, we're, we're trying to do function over form right now. All right, so here are the studs so far. I haven't tightened them up, so. Um, yeah, so this will prevent shearing. You could actually steer on these real hard. You won't have to worry about your wheel popping off or doing anything. And they have a lot more length than the factory uh, wheel studs. Here's a stock one. If you can see that, these ones have a whole lot more length to them. What are you making? What, what is no, this? I don't want to know. Eat juice. Why do you got to make all of this? Health. <laughs> Y'all, my, my wife is... She's wilding over here. That, that's how she stays so fire, though. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. She stays fire. <laughs> so sad. Just gulp it down. No. Look at that. Look, 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 look at the steam coming out of it. It does that every time. Mm. It looks like enhanced Pepto. No, it's disgusting. <laughs> Put your finger in there and just try it. You like it? It's not. You would like it. Look at that steam, you guys. I don't know what that is. It freaks me out every time. Looks like some I potions. can smell it. Look at that. <laughs> it's the most disgusting the thing things you do to be ever, healthy. Ever have. Good job, champ. You, it doesn't even look bad. You know how it's bad, though? She does this thing with her foot where she, like, hella moves it. <laughs> Is that bad? Try that last thing. Oh. You tripping. That's not that Stop! bad. Stop! How do you like that? <laughs> Ew, you get on your too. It's not it's not it's not good by any means, but it's not as bad as what she's making it, it seem. It's like dirt. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's from all my dirt jumping. All right, guys, uh, let me give you a quick run down on the GTO. Yesterday, I finished it, so I put all the ARP wheel studs in there. Sorry, it's dark. Um, ARP wheel studs on the front. I also raised the front end up about an inch. And in all honesty, I was going to be, I thought I was going to be like annoyed with how it looks, but it actually just matches a little better. Before, I had a little bit of drag racing rake, like old school rake going on. And now we evened it out, so. Um, this is what we got. 
So, see, I got a tiny bit of tiny bit of finger gap in there, which is good. And uh, yeah, so we'll be testing that out later on today once we get back. <laughs> so everyone, no. convince this woman that she needs a Cadillac. She's really hooked on this Q50, but she needs that V. No, I'm not getting a V8. Why not? No, I'm getting. You'll never be late for work. <laughs> yeah, right. With this Colorado traffic. Shoot. Come on. I know. Can we just I go do. test drive some? Yes, I'd love to. Look, my friend who owns the shop was like, yeah, you could come take the V and out. when have you set up an appointment for me with him? Thank you. We haven't. Because you keep saying, I really, I'm, I'm set on a Q50. I am. That's why I haven't set it up. But I'm going to set it up. And I'm going to take her, I'm going to let her drive the V. Mm -hmm. And uh, see how she likes it. Yes, okay. You done with that? The wigs with us. I tuned into what the future holds. Jimmy! Jimmy! How do you do it? Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy! What, wasn't that from Moverine? X-Men, yeah. X-Men. Like, my cousin was like, look, he's gonna say Jimmy. She was like three years old and she's like, he says Jimmy. And we're like, we looked at each other like, what? And the next like 10 seconds into it, she was like, Wolverine was like, Jimmy! Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take some test hits on the way to the skate park here. Um, it's a nice, cool day. Uh, really, really, really nice day. Uh, should, should hook up, should hook up better. Um, as you guys already know, I readjusted both front coilovers up about an inch. Um, I took them five clicks down on the dampening. I tightened up the rear for dampening and And hopefully that will allow me to squat properly. Yeah. Hopefully not squat as much. And then the weight transfer would be better. Um, a lot of people say you can't you can't get good traction with coilovers, but um, you know, I, to be honest, I don't want to spend the money on a new suspension setup. Now what there's no pressure on, I should be able to drive better. <laughs> My real issue is launch and first to second um, with the clutch being how it was. So we're we're doing this now, so I don't have to fight these issues when I go to the track and then I make another angry video and then you guys just try to cheer me up and stuff. <laughs> Tuesday, I'll end up changing the oil on this thing, uh, change the dip fluid again, uh, just to keep everything nice and safe and in and, and running order, and then we'll go from there. Shifts were a thousand times better, so I think my slave is good now. Maybe later on in the day, I'll have my dad or somebody come with me um, so we can see the car. Uh, I really need that outside perspective so I can see what the car's doing because to me, in the car, it feels fine. Um, but you gotta see what it's doing um, outside the car. That's why it's so important for people to film you or go with you. Um, so one thing, in the car feels great. Outside the car, it may be doing some craziness, but right there seemed, seemed just fine. Uh, seemed really, really, really good. So uh, I don't, I'm not 100%, you know, I'm still, I'm still doing a lot of research on drag racing suspension setups or, or setting up my coilovers for drag racing. But that seemed, that seemed a whole lot better than before. Granted, 
tires weren't heated up or anything like that uh, so you know it broke loose a bit easy and uh, get the uh, buy supply slicks but I have the BMW in in the mix right now so I'm not really sure what I want to do yet um, I know I know the buy supply slicks would really really help out um, as for traction and being easier on my drivetrain I said uh I'm on the fence about the buy supply slick right now mainly because I'm buying parts for the BMW and uh, I really want the BMW to go fast, so. <laughs> Showcase. I knew I could. Making me mad over here. <laughs>